Hi, my name is Chad Gridley. I'm a urologist with Duke and I focus on kidney stones and enlarged prostates. Kidney stones come in all sizes. It could range from one millimeter all the way up to several centimeters. So when patients come to see me for a kidney stone, it's usually after they've had a visit to the emergency room for a painful episode. That usually means the kidney stone is passing and causing a blockage. The kidney stone is usually no longer in the kidney, it's in the ureter, which is the tube that connects the kidney to the bladder. And when that urine backs up and the kidney swells, it's very painful. So we go through a, a series of options in terms of how you want to manage it. The first option is usually letting it try to pass. If we can keep your pain under control and you do okay, we'll give you several weeks to try and pass the kidney stone on your own. If that's not something that patients are interested in, then there's surgical options as well. Uh, they typically fall within the minimally invasive side of things, you know, usually no incisions. The first one that we talk about is called shockwave lithotripsy. So that's a procedure where nothing is placed internally and instead you have a machine that sends a sound wave through your back to the stone itself to try and break up that stone in hopes that it will be easier to pass. The other option we commonly talk about is called ureteroscopy. We take a scope and we go up into your urinary system with the scope and use a laser to break up that stone that way we can irrigate it out during the case or kind of pluck out little fragments. When we talk about things like the ureteroscopy, for example, it's usually the most common surgery that I do uh, because there's so many patients coming with kidney stones that do eventually need treatment. Uh, and so I kind of try and normalize the procedure, say lots of people get this. The uh, experience is something that the, the hospital can very much provide for the patient in a streamlined fashion.